Good morning. Uh, today we're going to do a rate of change problem for Calculus 1. I'll read the problem. Um, at time t is greater than zero, the velocity of a moving body along the s-axis is uh, v, and I'm going to write it as v of t. I, I like that notation. I, I like to know that velocity is in terms of t. So uh, velocity in terms of t is t squared minus 4t plus 3. And then we have three questions. Find the body's acceleration each time the velocity is zero. Uh, find the uh, B is when is the body moving forward. Uh, question backwards, so they want to know both. Uh, C, when is the body's velocity increasing and decreasing? So to answer A, we want to know, find the body's acceleration each time the velocity is zero. So uh, we can start with the acceleration, we need acceleration. Well, acceleration is the derivative. So the acceleration is the derivative of the velocity, which is 2t minus 4. And we want to know what the acceleration is each time velocity is equal to 0. So we're going to take the velocity function and set it equal to 0. And I'm going to factor it. Uh, that factors into 2 minus 3 times t minus 1 uh, and we get <clears throat> t is equal to 3 and t is equal to uh, 1. Uh, both of those are when, I should put that on there, t, oops, not less than, t is greater than 0 and, oh, is it greater than, yeah, it's greater than or equal to 0 and uh, to answer the question, a of 1 would equal negative 2. Um, acceleration can be, it didn't give us any units. Um, acceleration can be negative, it's decelerating. Uh, so a of 1 is negative 2 and a of 3 is, uh, 2 times 3 is 6 is 2, so it's accelerating. And um, I think I'm going to do part B and C in separate parts, so we'll come back.